I want to say I appreciate God for the privilege to stand here. Standing here tonight is not a right, it's a privilege. It's a privilege I have no intent to abuse. Amen. I have not met your pastor before. Seeing him tonight. Seeing him today. Seeing him this moment. But I love his spirit. I feel it. I walked in here when he held the mic. I just felt and I saw who he is. Help me celebrate your pastor. Thank you for serving God this much. Lord, enlarge and increase the work. In Jesus name. 22 years ago, God said to me, Go and tell the church, I am not responsible for the poverty in church. And when God said to me, He is not responsible for the poverty. Even the poor was better than me. And I told God, How do you send a poor man to go and tell people that you are not responsible when he is poor? And he said to me loud and clear, as you teach my word, I will strip you of poverty. And he did. My name is Elabo Isaiah. Made in heaven. Assemble in Nigeria and supply to the world. I'm the president and founder of Rescue Missions International. The ministry headquarters is in Abuja, Nigeria. And uh, I have been in ministry full time 30 years now. I've authored, I've authored quite a good number of books. I've also traveled in my little life different, different nations preaching the gospel not as, not as, a, not as a tourist Amen. Amen So I just trust God that today you will drink from a well that is not just theoretical but experience wise A husband of one wife and so many children I choose to have them so many. Because I understood the scripture very well. Mm. Call for increase. We are serving a God of increase. We are not serving a Stagnating or a stagnant God. We are serving a God who is all self sufficient. Who has got everything he desired. So let's go to Isaiah 51 very quickly, verse 1 and 2, as we kick the meeting on tonight, and then we pray. Isaiah chapter 51 verse 1 and verse 2. Verse 1 reads. Hearken unto me. Ye that follows after righteousness. And ye that seek the Lord. Look to the pit of the hole. Where you were digged. Then the Bible said in verse 2, Look unto Abraham your father, and to Sarah that bears you. I called him alone. I blessed him. Akin to me, ye that follows after righteousness. Now, in this passage of the scripture, God who wasn't talking to the entire world, he was talking to a specific class and groups of people. And group number one, they that seek after righteousness. 
In other words, he wasn't talking to the unbelievers. He was talking to the believers. They that seek after righteousness. The people who believe in righteous cause. The people who believe in living righteously. The people who desire to do righteously. So God was talking to righteous people are not unrighteous people. Now, group number two, they that seek the Lord. Now, the reason why you are here tonight is because you are seeking God. You would have gone back home or sit somewhere in the coffee shop or having a chat with a fellow brother or sister somewhere or hanging out with your friends but the reason why you are here tonight is not because you are idle or jobless it is because you are seeking the Lord so God is talking to the believers the one who seek him let me have your attention now number two at what point in a conversation between two people that you say to someone listen to me now the word listen to, the word hacking means listen to me so in a conversation at what point do you tell a man listen to me when you notice he has lost attention So if I'm talking to the pastor and I notice that he's no longer with me how do I bring back his attention? Listen to me. What am I doing? Calling back his attention. Having said that, let me analyze further. The church is very spiritual. The church is very prayerful. But there is something the church is missing. And God seems to be saying to the church, listen to me. So what is it that the church is missing? What is the missing link that God is saying to the church? Listen to me. Now, after God said, listen to me, He said, Look unto the rock. The word look is not spiritual, it is physical. Because church people spiritualize everything. Even greeting is spiritualized. He said, look to the rock. And whenever the Bible talks about the rock, he refers to the foundation. He said, look to the rock where you were cut and to the pit of the hole where you were dead. Every one of you seated here regardless of your current situation you came from a rock and God seems to be saying tonight look at the rock where you came from now if God is saying look at the rock God is simply me saying there is something about where you come from that you don't know there is something about the nature of your origin that is no longer true with you. He said, look. Please let me show you this Afro cinema very quickly from Nigeria. Watch a lot of movies. So let me show you the movie here now. Nigeria. What is this? Do you know Kiki? Huh? If you're watching, if you're looking at me, can you respond? What is this? Huh? Now, if you're not talking, it means you don't know it. What is this church? Babuza Chechu. Imuli. I do not have the spirit of destruction, but let me destroy something quickly. What is this? Chino Chichi? Huh? I love it. When it is here, what is it? Huh? When it is cut, what is it? That I cut this piece from the bunch. 
Has it changed your origin? Chichu sent is a chichari chimuli. It is still what? Chichari chichi. Flower. Chimuli. And I want to say to you tonight. Kakugambe dero. Every one of you seated here, you are a piece of rock, of rock cut from a huge rock. Guliomatu de bano ori chitu nutrum de chet ginja echate mi wakuva kuluwa zulu nene. The fact that you are cut as a piece. As a it piece. has not changed your origin. As if to say, when God said, Look to the rock, he didn't really go well with you. Or with the people. Then God said, Come, sir. Come, 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 come. come. Stand here quickly. There's no time. Quickly, quickly. As if to say, when God said, Look at the rock. You've not been able to grasp or understand or Baba, comprehend. Then God said, Look to Abraham, your father. At this point, do you know what God is doing? He's given us a visible, physical example. So look to Abraham, your father, and your mother, Sarah. He said, Abraham, I called him alone. And when I called him, I, I blessed him and I increased him. So let me say to all of you today, whenever you answer the call of God, by covenant, two things becomes your legal inheritance. What are those two things? Blessings and increase. Look to Abraham, your father. I called him alone. Then I blessed him. Then I increased him. I blessed him. I increased him. I bless him. I do what? I do what? I do what? If you are born again, I will set you without fear now. If you are born again, and I repeat, except you choose to go the Lazaric way. The Abrahamic way. If you are born again. And you are not seeing blessings in your life. I dare to say to you tonight. There is questions on your born againism. If you are born again. And there is no increase in your life. I also question your born againism. Look Abraham your father. The call on Abraham is a type of salvation. I called him when he was one. I blessed him. I increased him. Now, having said that, I want to open the package proper. Now, when God said, Look at the rock, I bless and I increase. What was God referring to? Now, when God said, Look at the rock, I bless and I increase. What was he referring to? I blessed him. I increase him. When God said, Abraham, I bless. God was not talking about statement of faith. He was talking about visible realities. Come. Look at the rock. It is not the type of blessing we are confessing in church now. You say you are rich. And you cannot give an offering of 50,000. Having said that, can I tell you what you have? You have what we call statement of faith. I am rich. Is a statement of faith. When you see a rich man, the rich speaks for himself. And that is one prayer I want to pray for you tonight. May God give you an evangelistic blessing. What is evangelistic blessing? The blessings that announces you that you are blessed. You see, rich men don't tell people I'm rich. See him just so that he's rich. Do you know 
my joy tonight. I am talking to young men and women full of energy whose future is bright. There is a generation that is wiping away. When I got born again, the type of gospel I had allow poverty and anointing to stay together. The things I have discovered in the recent years. If I discovered them when I got born again, I will be flying in the air. So when God said, Abraham, I bless. God was not talking about statements of blessing. He was talking about visible material Something you can see. You can feel. You can handle. Let's go. Genesis 12. Let me show you things there. Genesis 12. Verse 1. And the Bible said. Bible Gamba. Genesis 12, verse 1. Are you there? Amen. Amen. Look, please take us. I, please take us to verse 1. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham. Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred. And from your father's house. To a land I will show you. Please. Look at me. When God called When God called Abraham. The first thing that God gave to Abraham was not heaven. It was a land. Did you see the heaven here? No, please. The Bible is here. Did you see heaven there? What did he say he will give him? What did he say he will give him? A land. Taka. Uh, let me see. The almighty spiritual God called a mortal man. And the first thing that he gave the man was not there. It was here. God made him a title deed owner. He gave him a land. And can I tell you something about land? If a man has a land, 80% of his crisis in this life is tackled. Because that land can be transformed into anything. It can be collateral for you to assess money in the bank. People will trust you to give you money. You may choose to sell the land to make more money. So the first thing that God did to Abraham was to make him a landlord. There are so many of you here. You have gone with this man called Jim Reeves. This world is not my home. I'm the Abraham passed through this world. Abraham did not remain here. He passed through this world. And he went to heaven. I agree. This world may not be your home forever. But then I read the Bible, it says, the heavens of the heavens belong to God. But the earth has he given to the sons of men. I agree you may not be 100 years here. So when you say this world is not your home, I agree with you 50% and I disagree 50%. And so because of that, let me say this now. Please, if you are passing through this world, pass through it nicely. Abraham passed through it nicely. 
wisely. Ibrahim yaita mu bulunji nga ye yagala. Brother Lazarus was born again in the New Testament. Lazarus yali mulokole munda gane mpya. Full of the Holy Ghost. Oyo yali mukivuwa moyo. He was not a con man. Nga simubi. He was not lying to feed. Nga talimba kulia. And that is why he was a beggar. Jovola ba yasabirizanga. Begging for crumbs. Nga asabirizo bukunkumuka. He was saved. Yali mulokole and probably be very prayerful. Obuli awo yali mukala kasi. And I put it to you tonight. Ichuka chukule tele joli lero. If you like do 350 days of mountain mountain fire prayers. Bo sabe sale zo cha zo muliro. If you don't believe in the doctrine of prosperity you will not prosper. Ngatokiriza munjiri yakula akola ntogenda kula ba kukasi sense what you believe that you become. Chokiriza chobera. When brother Lazarus died the holy and righteous. Lazarus yafa mulokole mutukirivu. He's quoted with Abraham. He went to heaven. Again, I'm a guru. But squat with Abraham. Then I told myself, brother, I told myself, Abraham was rich. He went to heaven. Lazarus was poor. Lazarus was poor. He went to heaven. Why do I need to go in the Lazaric way? When I can be born again here, have money and good life here, and still go to heaven. But there are so many Lazarus in church. So the first blessing that God gave to Abraham is what? A land. The reason why you don't have a land is because you have told yourself. This world is not my land. I'm just in You are not the only one who is passing through this world. We are also passing through it. In my spirit, this man travels the nations. He has seen beauty of God around the world. He has stayed in porch places around the world. He is born again like you are. He speaks the tongue you speak. But you are going to die locally here. Because you don't know anywhere apart from Uganda. Uganda. Are you with me? Please follow me. I want to say some things as we pray. Then verse 2. Okay, thank you. Display for us verse 2. I will make you a great. Do you know that believers don't think great things? Actually, actually, believers. Do funny, funny business. God said to Abraham, I will make you a great nation. It means out of you. I will make something great. But then there are so many of you seated here tonight. You have never desired anything great in your life. And I can tap into some of your prayer points. Give me a small house. A small bed. Akatanda kamu. Eka small TV. Akativi kamu. Give me chikomando in the morning. Mpai chikomando kumacha. And give me this one in the afternoon. Erodo guro chinyongere. And I will praise you forever. I will say bonebo onde kera hau. Yesala yo blaz. And then God was so faithful. Ena mukama yari mwezi. You ask for two mil, he gave you three. Wasabo bokadibi di akwa busatu. But in a small place. Nehe gori mukafu aka 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 tin. And do you know why God made you, gave you a small place? Proverbs 10, 24 says, The fear of the wicked shall come upon him, and the desire of the righteous it shall be granted. I am one man, you don't make mistake and ask me, sir, what do you want? I will tell you what you may not be able to afford. Because before you ask me, I already know what I want. Before you ask me, I already know what I want. I will make you a great nation. There are so many of you seated here who can handle and become CEO of great companies. But do you know what you are doing now? Because of myopic mindset. Instead of being a job creator, you are a job seeker. 
And then you are singing and bragging. I have a very big God though. He's He's always always by a very big God though. By my side. Okay? You cannot have big God and be small. How do I know that? Have you ever seen an elephant's baby, an elephant who is small and dwarf? No. <laughs> if an elephant is born today. I told the story one time ago. A mother elephant gave birth to a baby elephant. And the baby elephant look at the mom. And look at the dad. Very huge and tall. So the baby elephant said, Mommy, can you pray for me so that I am big? And the mother elephant said, Ah, my child. You don't need my prayer to be big. It is in your nature. You are If you meet a son of President Yoere Kaguta Museveni, you will know you have met a president's child. Why? He lives to the capacity of the stethoscope of his father. Do you know why so many people have refused to follow you to church and fellowship? It's about you to be desired. They will even tell you to your face. This fellowship you go every evening. Your life is not even better than our lives. Why are you singing and bragging? Why are And the Bible says we are the light of the world. A city set upon a hill. Do you know the meaning of that? We are pesetas. An example setters. As I continue, I will make a great nation out of you. And say, I will bless you. And make your name great. Believers don't like great names. If I call you Reverend Doctor, I say, I'm not Reverend Doctor. Let me say this very quickly. I leave that one now. The names you make today. Are the ticket for your children in future. Strive to make a name. I'm telling you about my neighbor, strive to make a name. I leave that one. And you shall be what? Please give us the, the next verse quickly. Let me close. I want to show you something. Something is boiling my spirit. I will bless those who bless you. I, I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth Hear me. You are supposed to be a channel of blessing. But you cannot channel a blessing when you are not blessed. Okay. Genesis 13, quickly, as we close. Genesis 13. Wait. Abraham went where? He went where? He went where? No, when you say Egypt, you lose the revelation. He first went up. Do you know what, what, what that means? God changed his status quo. When he came into Egypt, he was down. But when he was getting out of Egypt, because God has promised him in Genesis 12, I will bless you. you. Now, while he obeyed and began the journey to Canaan, God did not want him to go to Canaan broke and poor. So God did something that made him go down to Egypt. In Egypt, a drama transpired. And from that drama, Abraham became very rich. Now, while he was coming out of Egypt, he didn't just come out of Egypt. The Bible said he went up. Bible said he went up. Out. Now, Furuma. Verse 2. On your local video. One to let's read. To some other one. Ati, what? He was what? My brother. Is it Ugandan Bible? Which Bible is this one? Abraham was what? And what is? 
And Abraham was very rich. Adam version say extremely rich. God called Abraham. God made him very rich. Today the reason why some of you are afraid to be rich is because you are fearing to be called Illuminati. Because they touch people. When a brother who was stomaching before come under the spotlight of God's blessings and he begins to drive a V6 or V8 the same people in church who begins the speculation brother Katonda has become an Illuminati why? we have a myopic mind that God who we serve does not bless Abraham was very rich. Ibrahim yari mugaganyo. Who called Abraham? Ani yamuita. Ah? Ah? Who called you? Ani yakuita. You. Gwe. Eh? Okay. I leave that one there. Now God called Abraham. God blessed Abraham. God made him very rich. Not smallishly rich, but very excessively rich. Then what was he rich in? Is he just praying and speaking in tongues? No. The Bible explains. Life stocks. And in silver. And in gold. Abraham was rich in livestock. Can I say this to you very quickly? That one male cow can produce 45 liters of milk in a day. Milk cow. This one that produces milk. How much is a liter of milk? 2,000. Multiply times 45. How much is that? Please, let's go to school. How much is that? I'm taking you from church to a classroom. How much is that? I have seen this man in the spirit. This man is anointed. He's focused. He has vision. What he needs now is money. And money will not come from the sky. Money has to come from you guys. So I want to teach you how to have this money to give him money to fulfill these visions. The largest congregation in the world is I, Nigeria. One man is sitting people one kilometer by to, uh, uh, one kilometer by one, one kilometer square. Three oh. kilometer by, by three kilometer square. Look, people sit for three kilometers in church. I mean, you want that people sit three kilometers oh, in kilometer church. Another three kilometer. Another three kilometer, three kilometer square. Kilometer square, kilometer satu. The altars, the, 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 some of the screens are like from here to here. When they collect offerings, there is a small motorcade that drives through. We pick we pick we 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 at at every every point. Point. Now, you see, the problem is because of the level that God has brought us as Nigerians, when we come this way and we talk, some of you misunderstand and translate us as very proud, uh, uh, very proud, arrogant preachers. We talk to you from our levels. Nigeria, a country of 200 million. One man of God told the government of Nigeria, if you need loan, don't go out. Come, I will give you loan. Bishop Koyodepo of the Winners Chapel told the Nigerian government, if you ever need a loan, come. Whatever amount of money you need, my brother. When, when <laughs> our pastor speaks in Nigeria, the government shakes because the, the church has got Money power. Listen to me. Abasumba of Ebo in Nigeria, government ya wuli liza kubanga sebo tulina haba tulina sente. You will not understand me one day. You can't understand me one day. I'm trying to cut what I can make you understand as we go. Listen to me. Listen to me. 
Oga, you seated here today. Gwa tude wano leiro. Who has said to you you cannot be the richest man in Uganda? Who and yeye hukamba tu sumbala kubanga gwa singa yoyobuka gamu Uganda. Guari one. We are in class. A liter is 2,000. Times 45. If you don't know it, please take your phone go to the calculator. Huh? 90,000 Ugandan shilling. Yes. That is in a day. One, one cow gives you 90,000 in a day. Some of you are working in the government and private sector. What do you mean by your daily take is not up to 90,000. But one cow. Hey, one day. Hey, wait. 90 times 7. Let's hey, Please permit me. Let me. In one week, one week. cow, not two, one. Week, hey, wait. will give you 600. And thirty thousand hey, Ugandan money. almost two hundred dollars. That is a salary some of you are not taking at the end of every month. Don't it is only the Munyankole who can understand what I'm talking now. And the Karamajongs. There is nothing about the cow that is lost. Even the poop of the cow is useful. The bones of the cows are used to make the plates you are using to eat food. Are you listening to me? So in a month, Mumwezi. one cow giving you milk, 2.5 to something million. The last calculation, sir. 90 times 365. 90 times 365. One cow will make you drive any car you want to drive, build e any house you want to build. E One cow. Huh? Hey, you are listening to me. When it is two, when it is three, or five, this cow, you don't need to buy food for them. God has given you a green grass. The only thing you do is buy a small tablet to warm them. You give them injection to boost the production of milk. And you are good to go. That is why the uncles don't put money in the bank. I have them who are my friends. You make too much noise. You wait. They just take one cow, take two cows. They are bringing you money. There, 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 there. Okay. There is one problem I have with the church people. The church people don't have certificate qualification. But they want government job. How much will you be paid? They take you to wash the toilets. Or you become a messenger in, in, the, in, the, in the office. office messenger office. And your salary is 150,000. Let me speak the Uganda English. 150,000. So Abraham was extremely rich. What were his source of riches? Livestock. Solo. Please, I'm not a Ugandan. No. In the city of Uganda, God has not promised any country a good president. I repeat, God did not say, Thus said the Lord, I promise all the countries in the world a very good president. No, Number two, there is no country that has passed law that you should not think smart and think wise. 
te wali gwanga ligamba anga te mulina kubera bagezi te mulowoza anga muluji te mulowoza anga bigage byo your poverty is not the government your poverty is self obwavu si government yebulese gwe mwenyini gwe sibye ko lukoko biru if you begin any business Botanika business yo na. The government of Uganda you will pay taxes and what vats. Ye yagala musolo government. But when you are raising your cows. Ni bubango kuzante ezu. You don't pay vat for it. Munange ti basis te bana standika kuzija ko musolo ne mbuzi. Ne nkoko de zisa sura musolo. Ah atebaje. Please. Can you continue? Let me show I want to show something. I want to leave you hanging somewhere. I go. Next verse. Sir. And he went on his journey from the south even to Bethel and to the place where his tent has been at the beginning between Bethel and Hai. Now it means Abraham is not with, without a past. Abraham has a past. But his beginning was not his ending point. Don't make your beginning become your end point. The next verse and to the place of the altar which he had made there at the first and there Abraham called on the name of the Lord. This verse tells us that Abraham had a balanced Christian life. Please, say with me, balanced Christian life. Can you say it again? I beg you in the name of Jesus. Balanced Christian life. What do I mean? One side, he was very rich. The other side, he was very prayerful. What does it mean? When the need for money comes, he does not use prayer to meet that need. And when the need of prayer comes, he does not use money to meet that need. He tackles prayer problem with prayers. He tackled money problem with money. But some of you now, when the month is finishing you don't know where money for rent is going to come from you go back to prayers and when the money is not coming you are asking for sure is God there does he answer his prayer Abraham was prayerful money did not take the place of prayer neither did prayer take the place of money he was balanced but our church Today. Yeah. Hey. 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 The people, the church is loaded with prayer. And they hire the prayer. Also, they hire the poverty. No bravo. The poverty is the one The next verse. I want to Oludako. stop. The next. Hmm. Help me read this one. One to let Let's go. Between Abraham and Lot, who was called? Wakati wa Ibrahim ne Luti, ani yaiti wa. Who? Ani. Eh? Thank you. Mwebari. God called Abraham. Mukama yaita Ibrahim. In fact, Lot was not recognized by God. Luti, ngane mukama tamu tamu ni nako. And Abraham was going. Ngagenda. Lot, like uncle, where are you going? I'm Luti also going with you. Kujio genda wa tu genda na awe. One version of the Bible says, and Lot, who was following Abraham about. Era Luti, e yari agobere na Ibrahim. The work of Lot was a follow about. He has no purpose. He has no vision. Wherever the uncle goes, he goes. Uncle uncle go, he goes. Go. So he was a follow about guy. But this is what I want to say. When God blessed the man that he called, even the man that followed the call was blessed. So hear me tonight. Who you follow determines what follows you. Go go bedida asala won your church who go bedida. Can I help you tonight? Kuyambi chiro chalero. When God called this man, were you there? Mukamba boya bita muzeyi wali yo. Wali yo muna fe. Don't lie now. He came and said, God has called me. Ye je nagama mukamba pisi. And you saw the proof of God's call on his life. E rande boka kasi bako kuiti bako katano kubla mubi. And today you are here. But let me tell you something. There is something you are not maximizing yet. Because God has called him and he has answered the call. And you are following him here. 
This is the implication. Every blessings God gives him, you are entitled to an overflow of that blessing. Amen. And that's what I want to say to you tonight. If you want to follow, follow nicely, don't follow craftily. Lot was not following Abraham craftily. Abraham, stop, he stopped. He said, cool, let's go. Mm -hmm. Lot was not the commander. Abraham was the following an instruction. So Abraham, stop, Lot stops. But when the blessings come upon Abraham, let me show you another thing. The next verse. Look, something is boiling in my spirit. Hey, one, two. Can we read? Now, help me read for yourself. One, two. Do you understand the meaning of possession? Eh? What is possession? Properties. Properties. Two people were blessed. And the land became small. And the same God who blessed is still blessing. You are more than two here. And there is still space. I think I was going to <laughs> you know, I used to preach together with this guy. Sometimes when he's preaching, I get up, I take the mic, I preach. And sometimes he comes, take from. You are the see, that is what God was saying. Say, look, Abraham, your father. Look at Abraham. Your father. When I called him, I bless him. As I try to hang the mic, your poverty and your situation. The heart of God. You have the seed of Abraham the Blessed. He said to Abraham, through you will all the families, including your family, be blessed. I want to stop here. I beg you. In the name of Jesus. If you don't want to be rich, please, because of your children, be rich. Abraham was very rich. The God we are serving blesses. Desire. To be great. Zaya. Yayana. To be rich. And God will honor you. Stand on your legs as we pray. So many anointed men of God in Uganda. But they are not known. Not because they have no anointing. They have no money. Money and the anointing works together. And that is why God decided to make Abraham rich. God called Abraham my prophet. So he was a man of God. But a rich man of God. When Jesus was hanged on the cross, the disciples had no money. So they could not speak the language of money where money is spoken, where, where, where the power of money exists. He took a, he took a black Syrian man, Na, rich black man, called Simon of Aramantia, who went to Pilate and said, now that you have killed this man, give me his body, let me bury him. That was money. Not anointing. Do you know that Jesus was buried in the tomb of that rich man? The rich man already prepared the tomb very costly for himself for the day he will die. He gave it to Jesus. Can I shock you as we pray? And go and do your research. That while Jesus was here, Yes, Apart from his father Joseph and mother Mary, and the house of our Peter mother-in-law. 
Jesus never had supper in any poor man's house until Yesu te yali ako munyumba ya mwavu ne Yesu yachimanya Read the Bible So my Bible it was always in the rich man's house Yesu yagena nga mubagaga je yali anga bintu biwo message Finally when they demanded temple tax and the ass confronted the disciples why is your master not paying tax Peter took it spiritual like some of you so what do you mean do you know who you are talking about Jesus our master so when they came Peter told Jesus the tax collectors were asking why you don't pay tax. And Jesus said, hey, what did you tell them? Say, trust me. I gave them fire for fire. Naba what the fire? Naba go be emizimu. What did you give them fire for fire? Kwachi oba go be oba 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 kose vuto. And Jesus said to Peter. Jesus na gama Peter. From who do the kings of this world take tribute? Ba kabaka be insane. Ba jaku bani omusolo. He said, in case there is no more money with Judas. Judas Mabanga sent as Mazeu. Take your hook, go to the lake. What again do the fish you will take? Turn it upside down. It will give you a golden coin. That is money. Coin Yazabu is a saint. Pay the tax. That the gospel may continue. Hear me. You see this place? If this man does not have the capacity and the capital, you will not be under this roof. See, where you are now, it is not anointing oil. It is money. And can I shock you? The day you fail to pay, the hotel understood the language of money. I'm not anointing. They will not allow you in here. With the anointing you have. I wish there were more days to talk to you. Pick up your right hand and say something to God.